as I was doing some Googling, just trying to prepare a little bit for this, I noticed people kept talking about radon levels in water. I've never heard of that before. Uh, is that something the city tests for? Is that something people need to be concerned with? Because, uh, you know, exp- educate me on this. I know nothing about sure. it. Sure. So you, if you were, if you were researching that, right, um, the EPA would tell you if the home was on a well that, um, and you had high radon levels in your air when you tested it, that you, that, that water could be a source of the radon. It can be for sure, not in Indiana, not in our area. So like the best scientists that we know um, that study this stuff all over the world do come together for these national radon symposiums. And they've taught us in our education that there are certain places in the United States that that's prevalent, but it's definitely not here in our area. So our laboratory has conducted those tests um, for people who really insist on doing them, even though we try to talk about that one because we know it will be a good test every time because of our geographic area. And um, it is always a good test. We've never seen a positive. But what I can tell you about it is is this. Um, It can be a source elsewhere. The numbers on it are are amazing. So you know how we said 4.0. Is, is for four picocuries and the air is what we want to see. Um, well, that's what the action limit is, is at. In water, it's 10,000, okay? So you'd have to have 10,000 for it to be, you know, um, anything that you'd even be concerned of, okay? And so like the, be- the tests that we've seen are all like 75, 325, You know, it's not even close to that number every time we do conduct one of those tests. So we try to tell people it's not a concern where we live, but I understand where they've read that because it can be elsewhere. So we we don't test the water around here. We just mitigate the air. Um, Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely something that I don't think we have a problem with around here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Uh, two two follow up questions and just out of curiosity at this point, since it really doesn't affect us in Indiana. Where, so is it like lead that there's a concern if you drink it, that it's going to hurt your body or does it just contaminate the air? And then how, how do they mitigate the radon out of the water? Oh, water. Um, yeah. So just like if you were breathing it, the radon decay particles, actually you're breathing it, the, 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 that particle attaches to the tissue in your lung and it starts messing with your cells. And so it changes things up, you know, um, and that is what starts the those free radicals and, and cancer causing things. And so the same with radon and water, it's you're ingesting it and those particles are messing yeah, with your insides. And so, yeah, it, it can be dangerous. As for um, mitigating radon and water, uh, aeration is, is one of the methods. Charcoal filters is another method. Um, and the city utilities have to test for that too. I mean, um, so... I mean, if you ever looked at one of your municipalities, water test results, um, radon and radium and uranium would all be on there. Um, and, and it's like I said, in our area, it's always zero or whatever. So they don't really have to do anything to, to mitigate that. Um, so you can you can feel good about your city utilities for sure when it comes to uh, anything radioactive. And um, again, in Indiana, I, I don't think it's an issue here. We do have big air problem though. Yeah. 